Hello everybody, it's Rhino, and I'm here today to take you on a trip to a cocktail bar. Today we're gonna to be going to the Courtesy, which is, uh, like I said, a cocktail bar that used to be located in downtown Orlando. If you were familiar with this bar, but you didn't know, it has actually recently moved and recently opened in a new location, which is just off of Orange Avenue in Winter Park. Um, this is a dedicated craft tail bar. It's very, the vibe is very classic, very, um, like cozy, comfortable, but it's like one of those places you walk in and you're like, oh, they're gonna make some really cool uh, cocktails in here. And the reason why we're going today is because it just got a holiday makeover. So there is um, this kind of company called Miracle. Um, I don't know if it's company, third-party event service, whatever it is, um, but every year uh, for the last couple of years, uh, the courtesy has gotten to become the miracle on orange. And uh, I'm really excited because they do some really interesting creative uh, cocktails. Like for me, the type that I will probably never make at my house. So I thought that we could go check it out together and uh, see what it's like in this new space. So I can see that it's not lost any of its charm at all being in this new space. Uh, it's got a, a plethora of Christmas decorations up everywhere, which are absolutely wonderful. And uh, what I like about this new space is like the seating arrangement where you've got some low tops, high tops, and you've got plenty of bar space to sit at. There's plenty of holiday drinks on this menu. Like I said, a lot of really unique stuff in here. And what's kind of cool too, is that they have a lot of take home glassware. I got the Santa Rex mug a couple of years ago. They've got some rocks glasses and stuff in here. Um, just a lot of fun stuff to take with you. What did you get there? Who are you sipping? This is... Grandma got run over by a T-Rex. Checks out. Very 2022. I feel like I should have one of those, uh, the suits, you know, the inflated suits. I think that the drink is very dry. What's in it? It's not as sweet as it sounds on the paper. It has um, vodka, orange liqueur, aperitif, aloe, aloe vera. Oh. So it's good for your skin. Oh. Uh, spiced pomegranate, grapefruit, lime, and aromatic bitters. It's a lot so of stuff. It, it's definitely um, more in the. If you like an amaro or like a. Yeah, exactly. It's bitter. You don't. You wouldn't like it, I don't no. think. I mean, I you like the vessel. I like the vessel. It's like orange peel. Like it's like a fresh orange type of flavor. Man. I don't think you'd like it. You would hate it. No for me. What did you get? I I went with the elfing around as drink number one. There's the several. Effing around. Yeah, which I embarrassingly called. I said an effing around to the server, and everyone she laughed. She loved it. It was great. We had a grand old yeah. time. This is fourteen dollars. It's prosecco, gin, mold wine reduction, grapefruit shrub, aromatic bitters, and then orange bitters. Mm. And it's pretty tasty. How do you like, feel about that shrub? A shrub is something we haven't really addressed yet in the bourbon study stuff. So, um, but I think we need to. It's a vinegar based, for anybody who doesn't know, a shrub is a vinegar based cocktail mixer. Mm. So where you'd use like a syrup or a bitter, a shrub is a, a vinegar. Well. So more of a savory. I think, it, I think it gives it like, it's like the slightest hint of grapefruit in here, but I think the, the Prosecco and the mulled wine with the gin actually play off each other very well. Stunning, really. Stunning. Just stunning. Ooh, yeah. There's Prosecco. Ooh, stunning, yeah. I actually think you might like this one. I like how you're sniffing it like it's wine. What? I mean, there's a wine reduction in there. Yeah, but you know how I am about gin. I'm always like, ooh, Christmas tree. I don't think this one has any element of the Christmas tree to it. But I mean, could be wrong. Oh, stunning. Oh, oh. That is good. It doesn't taste like Christmas trees at all. If you're a gin fan, this is for you. If you're not a gin fan, also still good. It's still good. Give it back. And what's the food item that you ordered here for us? Uh, this is a roasted pepita dip. Pepitas, for anybody who has no idea what that means, is uh, pumpkin seeds. So it's like it's almost like a like an almond butter in texture, yeah. and then there's some spicy uh, 
handmade tortilla chips, and there's also some sweet potato as a little garnish. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. ooh, I didn't see the sweet potato. Oh yeah, I already ate some. Oh, oh, so excuse me. What'd you get? Can I drink this now? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the snowball old fashioned, which you can see has a snowball in lieu of ice cube. Um, it is rye, whiskey, gingerbread, aromatic bitters, wormwood bitters, and orange essence. Wormwood like uh, in Nightmare Before Christmas? No, that's that's worm's breath. Frog's breath. Frog's wormwood. breath. Wormwood. 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 Mmm, very spicy. But also the rye is lending it to be extra spicy. But you're happy? Mm-hmm. It's good. Oh, what have we here? Well, the Jingle Balls. The Jingle Balls Nog. So this was 14 bucks, and it's cognac, cream sherry, almond milk, cream egg, vanilla, nutmeg, and then right next to it says contains dairy, eggs, and nuts. Everything sounds, it just said. It sounds thick. Thick. Is it as thick as the no, one? No, it's surprisingly very light and fluffy. <laughs> um, and honestly, though, I feel like. Uh, I feel like in terms of like I sipped your drink and yeah. that it's like a punch booze in the mouth fest. of booze. I don't taste a lot in this one. <laughs> and it's kinda tiny. So I feel like I know it's not quantity versus quality. You're like value for money. They're not giving it to you in that one. Yeah. So they, I'm like they promised balls, they did not deliver. I don't know that I'm gonna get 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 a buzz from this one. So you can have I like some a, of mine. I, I like a liquor forward You can have cocktail. some of my snowball. And that's it. I just wanted to take you along and show you a little bit about what it was like at this place, what the vibe was kind of like. I, I really feel like in terms of there being, I don't know how many holiday bars there are in the world, but I feel like it's got a pretty pretty nice vibe and I look forward to going back. I know that Craig um, really wants to go and there is still a drink on this menu um, that I really want to try that was one that was like a play on a grasshopper. So um, I plan to go back at least one more time. I will say uh, again I do like this new location a lot. Um, I feel like there's a uh, there's parking that's just around the back and and on the street and stuff so um, I think it just lends itself to a better vibe that's more fitting of of the bar of the vibe the bar is going for but that's just me if you happen to check it out let me know um, I have a link to their website in the description of this video so you can check it out I wasn't hosted or anything like that I just wanted to show you something I went and did and something I liked um, so check it out let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you later